Let me expand it to anybody else. Anybody else have a response to specifically? Let's let's think in questions here. Hey, again, when you're talking with people, a lot of times if you can ask them good and pointed questions, that can get you a lot farther than actually making a statement. So, what somebody who talks like Oprah or somebody who uses that mountain illustration, what question can you ask them that'll kind of like reveal the emptiness of those illustrations? But Islam doesn't really accept Jesus as the Messiah, yet Christianity does. So how are they completely different? So with that major contradiction between each other, how can they both lead to the same answer? Good, good. Yeah, that's ground we've already covered. Good, we're using that there. Go ahead. So is there a saying that everything, every religion is supposed to be to God, or what you said in the overbook, is that it doesn't matter what they call them on the way, they're going to end up at the same point. Mm -hmm. That means that that point had a straight line to it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me let me give you the question. It's almost too simple. It's this. How do you know that? Let me say that again. So somebody says, "All roads lead to God," or something like, "You know, for God, the details don't matter. What matters is sincerity." Have you heard that before? Yeah, you. Somebody says, "Sincerity means matters to God, not the details." And so you ask, oh yeah, how do you know that? And they'll probably, again, give you a question begging answer, meaning they'll just kind of say the same thing but in different words. But it's a really good question because here's why. For someone to know that sincerity and not the details matter to God, that would require them to actually have accurate insight into the mind of God, which is precisely what they're denying. Again. Yeah. To them, to the pluralist, we're all blind. Well, if we're all, if we're all blind, how do you know that sincerity and not the details matter to God? Justify that. So, I hope you kind of get a sense of my method here. A lot of times, what we as Christians do is somebody makes these, you know, very nice sounding statements and slogans and arguments, and we just try to like take it head on and just no, -uh. we try to prove it wrong. Well, they're the ones making the statement. They're the ones making the argument. So make them justify it. You know, the, the, what do you mean by that question? The how do you know that's true questions? You know, make, make them do the heavy lifting. You don't have to. You see the method here? Oh, yes. Uh, is that called the, um, uh, there's, uh, it's like a logical fallacy, right? The, um, uh, the, you know. the, the proof of burden fallacy? Burden of proof, yes. Burden of proof. Well, the burden of proof lies with the person making the claims. In this case, that's them. Do you understand what I just said? Yeah, the yeah. burden of proof is, is the person who has the job of proving whatever. And that job goes to the person that's making the statement, that's making a claim. So in this case, they're making a claim that sincerity matters to God, not the details. Or all roads lead to God. God doesn't care what, you know, about your beliefs. He cares about your heart. Those are all claims. Okay. Tell me how you know. You, you, you seem to know a lot about God. How, you know, if you're blind, just like me, how is that? See what they say? Okay. And be, be aware of them not really arguing for it, but just saying the same thing over and over, different terms, different ways. That's not really advancing.